Welcome back everyone for another vehicle tour. Today we have for you is a brand new Ram 3500 straight from AEV to our shop to get an OEV HBE strapped to the back of it. Let's check it out. So if the Prospector upgrades weren't impressive enough, we put our touches on it by putting Overland Explorer vehicles, Hudson Bay Edition, Camper, and a Lumitray flatbed on the rear of the truck. So let's open it up and take a look. Before we go inside, let's take a tour of the exterior. So we have the camper popped open to full living height. Below that, you see Audi Cap's 270 degree shadow awning. On this side of the camper, we have two storage cubbies. The first cubby, you can access from the outside, but it's also accessible from the cabinet inside. So whatever you put on the bottom level of the cabinet is accessible to the exterior. So if you have your shoes, muck boots, or even your toilet, you can access it from either side. Behind the stairs, we have a second storage cubby this one is only accessible from the exterior. So anything that's out here, you cannot reach from the inside of the camper. On the Aluma tray, you'll also see that we have two storage containers, just open for recovery equipment or anything else that you wanna put in there. I like having the camp chairs on the outside just because you're outside, no reason to run back and forth, let the bugs in. So two massive storage cubbies for whatever you gotta put. So let's go around back. So in the back of the camper, we have a whole bunch going on. The molly panels you see are from OEV. That's a factory option when you purchase your camper. Attached to the molly panel, we have one of AWOL storage bins just for some extra equipment. You have a ladder to access the roof when the camper is closed. That way you can check your solar panels. There's also some load bars up there so you can add some extra storage there. We have our drain for our shower and then also a container to access your heater just to kind of diagnose if there's ever an issue. Let's check the other side. So now let's go over the driver's side of the camper. You can see we have value cab shower cube right here. The cube will open up and you can use the exterior shower. We have hot and cold water. Below that, you'll see there's a drain for the sink inside. We have our propane storage right here. This is for the heater. Below that, we have some storage cubbies similar to the other side of the Aluma tray. Over here, we have an air compressor stored so we can air up and air down our tires. On the back, we have the filling area for your water tank. It holds 38 gallons of water. Next to that, we have our Sure Power plug. So when you're not using your camper, you could plug it in, or if there's electricity at the campsite. Next to that, you have access to your Truma and AquaGo heaters. So that's just access so you could diagnose any issues as well. So let's start over here with the dinette. You can see here, we have enough seating for four people. Right in the middle will be a nice bamboo table. It's just not set up yet. Actually above that, we have this cot that comes out and rolls and attaches right in here. So when you put the table down, the cushion's flat, you can effectively have a set of bunk beds, which sleeps even more people, which is nice. Right below the dinette, you'll see we have plenty of USBs and 110 outlets to charge all your devices. Also, the dinette is used as your indoor shower. So you'll have hooks up top here that drape down. And then right here is your drain for your shower. And you have your connection for your shower head right here where you have hot water. Below the dinette to the right is our water tank. It holds 38 gallons of water. Plenty of water for showering, washing dishes, brushing your teeth, you name it. 
Definitely more than you need for a weekend. So off of the dinette, we have our kitchen. Nice size, along with a nice size sink. And when you don't need them, just fold it out of the way. And you have another nice flat surface to work on. Below the countertop, you have your Red Arc Control Center. Next to that, we have the Truma heater. So this is how you control your heat. And next to that, just more light switches and accessories. Below the control center, you'll see we have the Nova Cool fridge. Plenty of room for a weekend, if not even longer. Got a nice little freezer up top, storage in the doors. Nice stainless steel finish, works great. So when you first walk into your right, is gonna be your main storage area. This storage space works great. So usually at the bottom, we'll put our wrap-on green toilet. It's an electric toilet that vacuum seals your waste and then you just toss it out in a garbage. Above that, you have two adjustable shelves too. So no matter what it is that you're trying to fit in here, you just adjust the shelves accordingly. And what's also nice about this cabinet, say someone's standing over by the door, you can access it from the top. Nice bamboo top, just folds down. And then onto the sleeping area. In this camper, we have a slight bed extension, which is really nice. That way you can sleep north to south, east to west. What's nice about this is when the camper is closed, you can leave your sleeping bags and pillows here. You don't have to move them just to close the top. We also have two fans that are capable of pushing and pulling. So when you set these fans up in that orientation, it effectively works like an air conditioner. You get a nice flow of air, keeps this camper nice and cool. The walls are a metal extrusion that are insulated. I believe the rating is an R8 and the soft areas are R4. So this is a four season camper. We had this thing up in Colorado and it was down in the twenties with the heater going, you were sweating. So that's going to be a wrap on our quick tour of this Prospector outfitted with Overland Explorer vehicles, HPE, and Illumitray. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Hit that like button, it really helps us out. And don't forget to subscribe. We have plenty more videos coming. See you next time.